presented by Chase. Please welcome the two voices synonymous with New York Rangers hockey that year, Sam Wilson and John Davidson. because of the nail-biting playoff run that could have given all of us a collective nervous breakdown. <laughs> oh, baby, you can say that again. <laughs> with the same awe and excitement we had 25 years ago. Absolutely. If you recall, 
we might not have known where it was going to end up, but even during that regular season, we knew it was going to be something special. Remember, do you remember the 14-game unbeaten streak? Yeah. Right. Mike Richter's franchise record 20-game unbeaten streak. Wow, that is wow. Mark Messier, Brian Leach, Mike Richter, and Adam Graves representing the Rangers. <laughs> Season franchise record for goals with 52. At the time, he becoming only the second player in team history to reach the 50 goal plateau. Winning the Atlantic Division, taking first place in the Eastern Conference, and being awarded the President's Trophy for having the best regular season record in the National Hockey League. And then. There was the unforgettable march to the cup. Sweep the the sweep of the rival Islanders. Yeah. Knocking off the Washington Capitals in five games and round two. Captain Mark Messier's unforgettable legal And then, going out and scoring a hat-trick for a come-from-behind 4-2 to two win. Stephen Manteau's series clinching. Becoming the first American born player to win the Cox Smith Trophy. And of course, ending a 54 year journey. To help us celebrate, please welcome 94 passionate Rangers fans to the ice who will help us salute our heroes.
He was required by the Rangers at the trade deadline. And provided him a center throughout the team's playoff run. He was one of the best baseball games in the National Hockey League. And took the front of the baseball in game seven of the Stanley Cup run. He played nine seasons in the National Hockey League and joined the Rangers prior to the start of the 93 94 season. Number 15, Mike Hudson. Unfortunately, due to a fire commitment, Brian number 16, Brian Newton, could not be here tonight. A 15-year NHL veteran who provided invaluable forward depth to the Blue Sharks lineup during the 1993-94 season and played in every game in the playoffs, number 17, Chris NHL veteran, he played parts of three seasons with the Rangers after he was acquired during the 1993 season. He was always willing to stand up for his teammates. Number 18, Mike Martin.
Waiting is over. Words over a half century in the making, 54 years to be exact. For the New York Rangers and their loyal and passionate fans, waiting had become a yearly rite of passage. Waiting for years of bad fortunes to change. Waiting for the Stanley Cup to return to the world's most famous arena. Waiting for 1940 to never be said again. And then, in 1994, a group of players embarked on a journey with one destination in mind, winning the Stanley Cup. On the ice, they were the ultimate team, a perfect mix of skill, speed, Toughness. Marber goes towards Belfour. He scores! They dominated the NHL. Shoot, save Richter, rebound, save Richter, and a block by Kevin Lowe in the crease. The Rangers are unbelievable. Winning the President's Trophy for having the best regular season record in the league. They captured the hearts and minds of the people of New York. Leap to Grandy for as much heartache and agony that 54 years of frustration caused, the memories they created will be remembered in this city forever. Records were broken. He scores 51 goals for Adam Grave, a Rangers record. Promises were kept. Mark Messier, do you believe it? Do you believe it? He said we will win game six. He has just picked up the hat trick. 
players became heroes, identifiable by only one name. They created a legacy, by cemented by the banners that hang in the rafters of Madison Square Garden forever. Beast Link, Link scores! Ball off to the puck, now Graves, he scores! Noonan's backhander save, and they score! Messier! They erased years of anguish. Finally, Rangers fans could die in peace. The waiting is over! The New York Rangers are the Stanley Cup champions! And this one will last a lifetime! And that is why, 25 years later, we celebrate them. That was very important. 
and, and, and I did, and we had great Halloween parties every year. The second thing that I learned very early on is whatever we were doing as a team, the wives and the girlfriends were included. And behind every good man behind here is a better woman. We had a great bunch of girls. We had a great bunch of girls, a great bunch of wives. Our green room was the best night club in New York City there. It was, it was awesome. Um, you know, lots been written about uh, that year and, and, and the uh, conflict that was in the team and, and drama that surrounded us, but I can tell you, having won championships before, there's not a season that is culmination of the Stanley Cup. There isn't some uh, hard, hard times, tough times. And the thing that always got us through those tough times, whether it was a difference in opinion or a philosophy or whatever it was, was a thing that always trumped everything was our undying, unwavering uh, thirst to, to win a, a Stanley Cup, and that trumped everything. And I'd like to thank, and I'd like to thank uh, Stanley Jaffe for uh, his, his guidance and his passion for the game. Bob, your leadership, uh, the coaches, you know, Mike Keenan, Holy, Dick Cloud. Great to see you, Neil. You're back in the house, Neil. Great to have you here. And, and, and of course, JD and Sam. I knew JD was a great announcer and a great goaltender, but I didn't know he was a psychologist. He talked us all out of the trees all year long, so thank you for that, JD. And lastly, I, I'll never forget my first game uh, as a Rangers, coming onto the ice and all the captains lining up to shake my hand to welcome me to the Ranger family. And talking to Rod Gilbert and Ron Gresham and Eddie Jockham and, and, and them and all the great alumni and how happy they were for us that we won the Stanley Cup. There was no animosity towards us, there's no jealousy for from them towards us. They were genuinely happy that we were able to win the Stanley Cup. And, and with that, and with that, we turn our attention to the team now. That the team, I said the team before they came out here, I said, we're following you, we're watching you, we love your careers, we love your direction, we want you to win, we want to be there when you host another Stanley Cup to share it with you. Touch every Rangers, touch every Rangers fan. We appreciate it very much again, Mark. And that is quite a family back here. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, 
All of us cherish the memories we have from 1994. We got to witness greatness firsthand in the stories of all of these gentlemen. Their dogged determination to bring us, all of us, the Stanley Cup. Thanks, gang. Yeah! The 1993-94 New York Rangers are a legendary group who brought friends and strangers together into one Rangers family and gave us all unforgettable memories that surely will last a lifetime. We are honored for this. We thank you and we salute you.